Good morning, hello everybody, welcome to a new video where we are going to be discussing a gentleman who has been around, I think, since Jesus Christ. I mean, FusiTube. He is a YouTuber that has been up and down like a roller coaster. I mean, up and down like Mia Khalifa's pants. I mean, you would not believe the story this guy's had, but recently he's gone extremely off the rails. Now, before we get into this, there's clearly some mental health issues that need resolving, but there's mental health. And then there's Yusuf or FusiTube, you know what I mean? And there's ways to deal with things. And then there's this. We're going to de delve deeply. You know, I, I feel like this guy disappears. He comes back. He disappears. He comes back. And when he runs out of money, he comes back. Like, look after yourself, bro. He was in a mental asylum for ages. You know, he's done all this. And then he comes out and says some crazy shit. But we'll watch it. We'll delve deep and we'll see what we think. So FusiTube and his manager, his cameraman, Fallout. Try to come to my face that I paid for with a job that was gonna change your life. Yeah, because you ain't worth shit. Go work at Chuck E. Cheese, faggot. Suck my fucking dick. Come here, make me something. See, so they just punched in there. Uh, got in a fight over Chuck E. Cheese. I mean, you know, his career. He got banned on kick. I think it's important, but he got banned because of this clip. So he punched someone, then got banned. So he can't blame it as to why he's got on. Obviously, his um, his dream return has not quite worked out. Robert Downey Jr. is hoping his goes slightly better, but again, we're all we're all seeing how that will work out. So he obviously punched him, called him an f bomb. Um, I don't know. You know, you can think how you like about that. This comes to my point. I think he's genuinely just a bit of a dick. Money, fame, that's all he cares about. How he looks. He treats everyone around him like shit and really insults them about everything. You know, he always wants to be the centre of attention, shouting and doing stuff like this. guy started out doing pranks and stuff. You know, he's always been like that, but he has lost it. He's lost his plot. He's on X, he's on kick, you know, he's doing all that sort of shit. Another one where he overreacts and causes a massive scene for no reason. I mean, hey, hey, listen, listen, you guys know I talk a lot. Really? These motherfuckers that are on the internet right now make stop getting in the fucking face. <gasps> that is mental. So he whacks the camera, screams at his face, get out of fucking face or because he was trying to looks like he was showing his phone so he was looking at it, and then he's switching there he's trying to you know keep him on camera which is his job so yusuf fuzi tube takes it out on him slaps his camera i mean if that was me i'd drop kick the motherfucker that guy's going through the windscreen dying like two style bro i mean poor guy you get treated like shit in front of all these people everyone's just there like what the fuck was that these motherfuckers talking about me yeah you're doing it again hey are you slow Being back, i gotta ask you this before i go are you slow a little and then to call him slow, like the only one who's a moron here is you, mate. I mean, look at the glasses, look at your hat, look at whatever's around your neck. I mean, that shit's causing you back pain. That shit's causing you neck pain. To insult a cameraman who's trying to help you out and do that, assault him on camera, you've got to be thick as thick. You know what I mean? You've just done that. He could probably sue you or something. I don't know. And then to say he's dumb. Dude, you're the dumb one, and we're going to find out even more how thick you are. So just like all self-centered, money-driven, and drama queens, he films his conversation with his, what do you call him, shrink, you know, his therapist. Mental behavior, in my opinion. Mental behavior. It shows a lack of sympathy and a lot of care for yourself in my opinion it's between you and someone else talking is good but talking on this is just about causing a scene caught trying to get a bit of extra dough i can see through your bullshit you joe yusuf i was gonna call him joseph you foozy too whatever you want to be called fucking doozy do more like it i mean this guy's an idiot these days it's so sad he should have gone looked after his mental health he's clearly got some problems but it doesn't just because you've got problems doesn't allow you to do certain behavior don't mean you can be a dickhead to everyone you love and then he regrets it oh i'm so sorry oh Oh, I've been going through so much. You've been going through shit for the past five years. Every three months, you're going through something new. Like, I understand people struggle, and I support that. I've struggled. My friends have struggled. I've seen it. But they didn't slap me. They didn't scream at me. And they didn't go fucking crazy mode. No, I'm not. But when you get paid, you come with respect. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. As you'll notice, his voice gets more and more strained as more and more videos come out. He smokes like this. Sounds like your granddad after he's been through World War II and smoked 20 cigarettes a day. Yeah, son. I love it. Yeah. No, it's fun. I'm a fantastic. I'm, I'm, good as, I'm good as gold. Listen to me. No, seriously. Come with respect when you get paid. 100%. If I had a boss, I do too, you're making it seem like I don't do shit, I'm not excited. 
<laughs> so, so he's obviously like, you need to treat me with respect because I'm paying you because you're my shrink. You need to look after me. That's not what shrink's for. She, she or he, whoever, will tell you the hard truth. You suck dick, Yusuf. Whether the whole internet believes it and you don't, the fact of the matter is, you're a donkey. I'm accepting this, Susie. I'm not taking it. Sorry. Listen, I didn't say... No, you're walking all over me this call. I'm not taking Wait a minute. it. Not yeah, he's got vape. <laughs> Icing on the cake, bro. He's iced the cake. Gordon, no, Gordon Ram's not a baker. Who's a good baker? I don't know. I made a video on Rosanna Rand. I know she's a baker. So, Rosanna style, baby. Ice that shit. Taste it. Sweet and salty, baby. Oh, no, I did. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did you? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I did. Okay, you did. Alright, you said you wouldn't, and you did. Oh no. You're the <laughs> He's such a bitch. I'm not gonna smoke marijuana. I'm sorry, mommy, I'm not gonna smoke marijuana. Did you smoke marijuana? I do smoke marijuana. I'm a bad boy. While well, he's there, puffing his pineapple vape. Get in the bin. You're smoking cigarettes, you're smoking weed. Yeah, because I'm a rapper, feel me? I'm a rapper. Dude's deluded. Dude is nuts. He's men like mental. Mental, absolutely mental. Bro, think bro's not even released an album. He thinks he's a rapper. <laughs> I'm a rapper. I go smoke the green and smoke the cigs and sound like this. And sip lean, cliche. Well, I'll still do it anyway. The stream went down. Why did it go down? Because the internet went that way. Their job is to watch the stream and tell me it goes down. Three minutes went by. They didn't say shit. Are they in charge of the, are they in charge of the internet? I can't take any more of this. The dude is fucking deluded. I mean, my God, he's deluded. Absolutely deluded. Now, obviously, he's rude to everyone else we've seen from them clips. He doesn't show anyone respect. He thinks everyone should show him respect, but he doesn't have to give it. He thinks if money is the only ulterior, only thing that's important in life, if you have money, you are respected. Highly, highly disagree, and I highly think that's a dickhead thing to think. Wait over here, Ferrari. Wait over here, soldier. Wait, and... <laughs> Talk about his rapping career, because he's a rapper, certified rapper. Hold on. With my old man case. I hope I've just not shown you my entire 50p's worth of money. Okay, let's see if we can find him. Boozy. Yeah, he does. He has 2,000 monthly listeners. Can you see that? High school musical playlist in the background. Don't judge. He's got two, you know, he's not a rapper. If I made a song, I reckon I'd get just as many as that, okay? So he's filming. The song with Mexican OT. The car is ready. Wait till they see you in the studio. <laughs> so he's just leaked his entire album, a uh, song called Ferrari, what sounds like dog shit soldier, which he is certainly not. And then he's spoken it with the cameraman and then blames the cameraman for filming it. Narcissistic idiots do, because obviously he was recording, like doing his job while you were talking, which is his whole role and his whole job. And yet he's the one who's in trouble. <laughs> I mean, look at his face. Looks like someone's just shot Close his cat. Wait. How long have you been here? How long have you been here? <laughs> you hired him. How long has he been here? As long as you've paid him for. It's like, it is my job to be right next to you. I thought that's why you pay me. Not, not right now. He's deluded. Is it muted or unmuted? I turned off the mic. What is it on right now? It's on now. What was it when I was talking? Just the last sentence you said? Yeah. Just the last sentence, that's it. Everybody sit down, please. It wasn't on the Sit down! See, he's shouting at people, treating them like shit. I mean, if this was me, I'd be fucking fuming. I did not know you crept back into the corner. I just leaked one of my features. That wasn't supposed to happen until three weeks from now. Three weeks? <laughs> Have you seen anyone do three weeks? I mean, someone doing that is like a push. Three. Three. Three? <laughs> Three! <laughs> One of his features, that's a very broad term. And I'm gonna try something I've never done. I swear to God on my mother's heartbeat, you would be fired right now. And you personally, I think I would have punched in the face. But I'm a grown man now, so listen. I'm a grown man now, so I'll only say it to your face. Listen. When you come. He gets, he, gets, he gets a round of applause. They're treating him like a baby. This guy's a kid. <gasps> well done for not spitting your dummy out, baby. Oh, no, you cute. Well done, Foozy, baby. Mm. Come into a room, you yell, cameras. My life is 24-7. I'm going to have privacy moments. 
my life is 24 7 i'm gonna have privacy moments that's what we call a contradiction in my school uh, i'm not sure what he called it but that is nonsense waffle d d d d d d d he wants his whole life to be on camera and then when the cameraman's there doing his job tells him off says he's a piece of shit i would usually punch you in the face and fire you that's not really how you speak to someone never mind someone you want to be on your side and film with and collaborate and help you is it i don't know it's like if a fireman came to save you for you know from a burning building you'd be like well usually when people save me they bring me a glass of wine but on the this time i'm not going to push your ladder down but I'm going to be the bigger man on my mum's heartbeat. I will be the bigger man. He also said, I'm not going to show this clip because we're running out of time. I don't want to bore you. It's just more of the same shit. He was depressed. He reached out to 34 friends and no one came back to him because he's stolen money from people and not giving it back. You know, people tried to help him. You know, he's, he's, he's manipulated them, done all sorts. Now, this is it. This is, I'm sorry. Look at me. I'm, I'm Yusuf. Look, I'm going to try my best not to cry. <laughs> It's like, I'm going to try myself best not to shoot. Ah, oh, damn it, I killed him. God <laughs> Look, I understand mental health, this, that, and the other, but this is serious. Like, you have assaulted people, you've insulted people, assault, insult. You've also been horrible to everyone you've met. You've stolen money, manipulated, and now you're on here crying, asking I've for help. There's so much stress. You have. Everyone around you is getting screamed and yelled at. I, I promised Eddie and Akil I wouldn't crash out like last year. That my adrenaline shot up and I don't even remember the last like 48 hours now that I'm out of it. See, I don't believe that. That's just not true. I'm not sure what this guy's smoking. He's smoking weed, he said. All right, if you're smoking something else and maybe that's why you don't remember the last 48 hours. I don't know what this guy's got, but if he's got something that serious where you're having memory blocks and you're doing dumb shit like punch people scream at people uh you need to go you know somewhere serious basically you're you're a, you're a, um, a danger to other people and you're a danger to yourself it's time to look after yourself and stop chasing this money this fame that you've been chasing for 10 years and now that i calm down i'm realizing all the destruction that i caused that this happens to me all the time just it, I do feel sad seeing someone like this. He could be a, a, a mental manipulator, an absolutely human manipulator, and making and faking this. I don't know. He could be. I won't be surprised, it's judging from the other shit he's done. But part of me is just like, mate, can you just stop this? Stop this whole YouTube facade and look after yourself. You know what I mean? It looks like you're already wearing a gown for a, you know Arkham Asylum. Just turn yourself in. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm fucked up. I need help. There's nothing wrong with that. But you fucking other people up now you're damaging them i'm not even gonna sit here and say sorry because but like i'm trying to explain to y'all like now that my adrenaline dumped and i'm back to yusuf and i open twitter and i see what fussy did i'm like <sighs> see he's treating it like he's got split personality disorder <sighs> i feel so much better now though i feel free i, I mean that's just mental i i have no words for it <sighs> I don't know. Look, I, I want to end it on something. I've had sex, I've gymmed, I haven't ran, I haven't had sex, I've jacked off, I haven't done anything. <laughs> he just said that on stream. I don't know why I found that funny. This is even funnier. What's on you? No. Weapons? No. Nothing that can hurt me? No. I got a big penis. It could hurt you a lot. I'm gay. Nine inches. Is that on body cam? I'll fuck you so good till you love me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he comes out with some absolute shit fair enough but look he is clearly someone struggling mentally physically emotionally um he needs help and he needs to stop filming these shitty videos stop doing this 24 hour stream you need time you need a schedule you need to look after yourself clearly you're not doing any of them stop with the bullshit quit and f look after yourself that's more important than any of this dog shit that you've you know, you're doing for fame and clout. You think, oh, I've been under so much stress. So is everyone, mate. They don't film themselves on the internet doing dumb shit and punch them people trying to help them do that. You know, go to a normal nine to five job. That's a lot shitter than what you're doing. Like, I understand you're struggling and people struggle. But so, like, you know, stop making yourself worse. Anyway, let me know what you think of Yusuf, Fousey Tube. Anyway, cheers, guys.